Hey, what's up, guys? Cinema Gamer Music Menace 23 here, and I'm back again for another video for you guys. Three reviews about what I watched last week, and on Tuesday I watched Orphan. As you can see here, this is a Netflix rental. Orphan is a th is a horror thriller released in 2009, filmed by Warner Brothers Pictures. Picking up the pieces after their baby tra baby's tragic death, the Coleman's F. Kate, played by Vera Far Farmiga, and John, played by Peter Sar. Sarsgaard adopt a nine-year-old Esther played by Isabel Furman from an orphanage, but it doesn't take long for Kate to see to see through Esther's angelic facade when John bruises aside Kate's paranoid suspicions. Esther wreaks havoc on the world around her in this chilling tale from director Juan Colette Sierra. This movie was pretty good. It was about this girl that gets adopted from the orphanage and she kills everybody and so um and if you haven't seen this, feel free to rent it or watch it on demand and feel free to check it out because it's so by far one of my favorite horror movies. So, um, feel free to rent it or watch it on demand if you haven't seen it yet. So, that's all I have to say about it. So, there you guys go. And on Wednesday or Thursday, I think I watched a house, The House of 1,000 Corpses. The House of 1,000 Corpses is, is a horror, slasher horror film slasher psycho psycho Murder, Psycho, House, House Horror Film released in 2002, filmed by, filmed by Lionsgate Pictures. It's a Rob Zombie film. It's another one of those Rob Zombie films by the um, the singer Rob Zombie, so two young couples take a misguard tour onto the back of Roads of America in search of a local legend known as Dr. Satan, lost and stranded. They are set upon by a bizarre family of psychotics, murder, cannibalism, and Satan. Satanic rituals are just a few of the 1,000 plus horrors that await. This movie was pretty good. It was pretty short and it's one of the one of the best Rob Zombie films you will ever see. So if you haven't seen it, feel free to rent it or watch it on demand. And feel free to check it out. So that's all I have to say about it. So there you guys go. And on Saturday, I watched Bohemian. Ra I went to go see Bohemian Rhapsody in theaters. Bohemian Rhapsody is a biography drama released on the 2nd of November of this month. Filmed by 20th Century Fox, born in... 
Born in Zez, Zezabar Faraka Bols, Bolsara ex, emigrated to England in his teens and formed the band Queen in 1970 under his new name Freddie Mercury. This by bi this biopic charts the group on group's first 15 years, culminating with their live Live Aid performance in 1985. This this was about this this these and these guys that that were misfits. So um, and then and later on they become they become a really popular. They become really popular, so, and everybody starts to like them, and this five group of four misfits, so, it was budgeted 50 to 55 million dollars in theaters, so, if you haven't seen it, go see it in theaters, because it's in theaters now, so, it was... It was a, a pretty epic movie, so if you haven't seen it, feel free to re go check it out in theaters, because it's in theaters now, so that's all I have to say about it, so there you guys go. Okay, guys, thanks for watching my video. Be sure to hit that like button down below. Also, if you want to see a brand new video from me every single day, hit that subscribe button, and you're going to get one, and also be sure to hit that notification bell, because you got to do that now, and... Stay tuned for tomorrow's daily vlog for my next daily vlog video and and thanks for watching and and see you all later. Peace out.